A structure fire in Brandon this morning forced dozens of workers at Gates Corporation out into the cold. No one was hurt, and employees were back inside in just a little over an hour. Because the fire took place during the day in a small community, firefighters from several different departments showed up at the scene to help out. Kevin Vance's Matt Holson shows you what's behind the strategy and how it keeps communities safer. When the call came in for a structure fire in Brandon, several volunteer fire departments were ready to respond. Air handler unit that caught fire and created a lot of smoke in the back bay, but it was confined to the air handling unit. A number of fire departments were on scene, including Brandon, Split Rock, and even firefighters from Sioux Falls. The Valley Springs Volunteer Fire Department also chipped in. Working into some of these smaller communities, we don't have the amount of people to do some of these jobs now, so we just send a couple extra trucks from different departments. Joe Eggy is the Split Rock Assistant Chief. He says during the day it can be hard to get responders on the move because they're working elsewhere. I got guys that work on the west side of town, even in different counties, so it's uh, it's very difficult sometimes to get trucks rolling. And uh, the way we work, we get four departments dispatched to a structure fire, and it uh, we get as many hands on deck as that we can. While today's fire was relatively small, Eggy says you never know what can happen, and it's better to be prepared. Better to be overcautious and you know have something go bad on you. The more the merrier for help. We can always turn them around. In Brandon, Matt Holson, Kelloland News. Wagner says the decision to send multiple units for structure fires comes from the Minnehaha County Fire Chiefs Association.